Audi e-tron. A snowy slope is a serious problem for the vast majority of cars. But what about a steep slope with an angle of ascent of 85 degrees? This seemingly insurmountable obstacle was overcome by Swedish racing driver Matthias Ekström behind the wheel of an Audi e-tron. The event took place in early 2019 at the Austrian ski resort of Kitzbühel. Thanks to the skill of the driver, as well as a carefully modified car, the Audi e-tron climbed the snowy and icy mountain without any trouble. What changes were made to the automobile to make it cope with this? Let's see. First of all, Audi specialists modified the power unit. They added an additional motor to the two production electric motors for a total of three engines, one at the front and two at the back. This design allowed increasing the power of the car up to 370 kilowatts and the maximum torque up to 8,920 newton meters. In addition, the motor control system was changed so that the torque is distributed between them more optimally. And of course, special tires were used. The e-tron got 19-inch studded tires designed specifically for the event. BMW M5 Sometimes, in order to get into the Guinness World Records, you have to perform incredible tricks, as well as take unthinkable risks. That is exactly what happened in 2017, when the German automobile concern BMW planned to set a world record for continuous drifting. A BMW M5 was chosen for the event. Behind the wheel was Johann Schwartz, an instructor at the BMW Performance Driving School. It should be mentioned that the previous record belonged to the Toyota GT86 and German driver Harald Müller. He drifted 165 kilometers in 2 hours and 21 minutes. BMW set out not only to break the record, but to hold it for a long time. However, they faced a serious obstacle. The car would run out of fuel much earlier than they could overcome the planned distance. To solve this problem, the specialists came up with a whole system to refuel the car on the go. They were inspired by the technology used by military pilots. The result looked something like this. A backup car was drifting next to the drifting car. A specially hired stuntman leaning out of the window connected the cars with a hose and a valve. In just 50 seconds, the system allowed to pump as much as 70 litres of gasoline. As you can imagine, the BMW M5 managed to break the record. The sedan drove 374 kilometers and was on the road for a total of eight hours. They had to fill it up five times and set a new record as the longest twin vehicle drift. Together, the record holder and the refueler drove a total of 79 kilometers in a controlled drift. Porsche Cayenne S If you think that a car that can move an entire airplane probably looks like an enormous monster the size of a tank, you're very much mistaken. In fact, it looks like a five-passenger Porsche Cayenne S SUV. In 2017, another world record was broken, this time in Paris at the Charles de Gaulle Airport. The car, using a standard tow bar, towed an Airbus A380 aircraft weighing 285 tons. Joined together, they covered a distance of 42 meters. It's surprising to realize that such a tremendous load was sustained by a production car. The Porsche Cayenne S has an engine of 385 horsepower and an 8-speed gearbox. Mercedes SLS AMG It'd be wrong to make this video without including one of the most spectacular stunts in the history of sports cars. In 2012, world motorsports star Michael Schumacher got behind the wheel of a Mercedes SLS AMG to do the impossible. The two-door luxury supercar made a loop driving over the walls and ceiling of a car tunnel. 
Although the commercial was recorded almost 10 years ago, it's still impressive to the extent that the developers keep telling people that it's not CGI. Twenty twenty one Porsche seven one eight Spider. Here's a more recent world record. It was set by sixteen year old Chloe Chambers in August twenty twenty. She completed the fastest vehicle slalom course, driving a Porsche seven one eight Spider on a track with fifty one cones. They were set fifteen point two four meters apart, and the record holder managed to complete the course in forty seven point four five seconds. That was about half a second faster than the previous record. In addition to the skill of the young racer, one can't ignore the excellent performance of the car. The video is part of an advertising campaign to promote the Porsche 718 Spyder 2021. The updated car received a 7-speed dual-clutch gearbox. This change made the model more practical as well as faster. It goes from 0 to 100 km per hour half a second faster, while the degree of mechanical differential locking increased from 22 to 30%. Jaguar F-Pace This record-breaking 360-degree loop-the-loop -loop was performed by British stunt driver Terry Grant in September 2015. This is how Jaguar decided to celebrate its 80th birthday, and at the same time show the world the advantages of its new SUV, the F-Pace. The remarkable event was preceded by months of preparation. When driving across the structure with a diameter of 19.08 meters, the driver experienced a 6.5 g-force, which is greater than the forces experienced by a space shuttle pilot. Of course, it was possible to perform the stunt thanks to the incredible technical equipment of the car, as well as the best-in-class safety systems. Interestingly, Jaguar's specialist didn't stop there. In 2017, the E-Pace model set a new record, performing a stunt known as a barrel roll. The SUV made a jump and flew 15.3 meters in the air, managing to make a 270-degree turn around its axis. Once again, Terry Grant was behind the wheel, and even he, a multiple record holder, was amazed by the capabilities of this car. Remarkably, the vehicle had to drive 160 meters to reach the necessary speed, and during the turn, the driver had to endure a powerful g-force of 5.5. BMW 3 Series The next record was set on an airport runway in the Finnish city of Sainayuki. Stunt driver Vesa Kivimaki put the BMW 3 Series on its two side wheels and then reached an incredible 186.2 km per hour. The previous record was 181.25 km per hour. It's noteworthy that one of the prerequisites for the record was that the vehicle had to be a production car. And we must say, the BMW 3 Series coped with its role just perfectly. The event organizer Nokian Tires created special tires with a reinforced side for the event. Toyota GR Supra Before our last video, we must remind you that you shouldn't repeat any of these tricks on your own. The stunts shown today were all performed by professionals under the watchful eye of lifeguards, and of course, these events were preceded by a long preparation. Just a few weeks ago, Toyota showed a promo video for its GR Supra. A team of professional stuntmen gathered to demonstrate its maneuverability, as well as the steering accuracy of these cars. Notably, all the stunts performed are ground-based interpretations of those performed by the Royal British Air Force's Red Arrows aerobatic team. It took a week to practice the maneuvers, and the filming took two days. All the more astonishing to realize that during this time, not a single vehicle was broken or damaged.
Hey, stop being lazy, it's time to use that brain of yours. Welcome to Brain Time. Incredible facts from the past, the present, and even the future. The power of nature and wild animals. Amazing facts and unsolved mysteries. You'll find all this and much more here. Subscribe now, you won't regret it.